It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots. First motherfucking show back for the new year, baby. Yeah. How'd you bring in the new year, man? Well, first of all, we got any church announcements? Uh, yes. Uh, TheAndrewSchultz.com. All the shows. We got the Road to the Special. You know the specials. April uh, 11th and 12th. All three shows sold out. Thank y'all so much for that, man, in L.A. Um, so we got all the shows leading up to that where I'm getting it ready, man. So make sure you guys come out. It was the last time you get to see the Matador tour. Uh, this weekend we're in Tampa. I think it might be sold out. Maybe a couple week, uh, a couple tickets left. Then next weekend we're in uh, New Orleans. That's really big. I'm super excited. I fucking love New Orleans. One of my favorite cities, um, in the world, man. So make sure you come out the Joy Theater. We're there. And uh, theandrewschultz.com for all the dates. You go get the rest of them. We're going to be in your city. I don't even know what the fuck I got going on. I I, I do know on Friday uh, at 7.30 p.m. I'm doing a screening for the Bad Boy for Life movie. So ah. that's, that's, that's the third installment in the Bad Boy People sequel. still watch movies? Um, People still go out to the movie theater? Is that a thing? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess they're assuming that this is going to be a big event. You know, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. Right. Um, it, it 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 was a super historic franchise. I mean, still is a super historic franchise, but at the Some time, it was a favorite movie. It was, man. A, it was a blockbuster franchise. Blockbuster. I don't know how that translates in 2020. Martin was first billing on the first Bad Boys. That's what people don't know. Really? Yeah, I don't remember. Martin was the big star. Yeah, probably the first time around. Yeah, I wonder what that probably. I wonder by the second one, it probably was equal. It was well. Nah, well is. Uh, I, but that's I, sick, man. Yeah, I heard this time there was this discrepancy that the, the it was like Will was getting like. 15 or t- and Martin was getting like five or six and I'm like that's disrespect nah 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 even now come on you can't Monique it I don't think you gotta I think Martin and Will both culturally if you're coming together to do a bad boy movie it's not like Will has had a lot of blockbuster hits recently either yeah but Will still has that like social currency he, he just got that though no the last two years and he I, just dominated social I mean so the it's like what currency and I love Martin mm-hmm. I'm a Martin stan like, love Martin. And the reruns of Martin never stopped. Bro. So Martin's been, like, relevant for generations now. I don't know if reruns mean you're relevant. Yeah, right? man. Kids love Martin. Cause they? they play, yeah, because they play... How many the, kids say? But think about the networks they play it on. They play right. it on, like, MTV2, BT. So these are the people that are still watching Martin. You like, watch Martin? The, you watch on reruns? Say again? Well, she, said, she, she said, yeah, and I also grew up on Fresh Prince. Oh, really? I'm saying they kid. You watch Martin, Jillian? See, but how old are you? Interesting. But then he's 22. Like, yeah. they still matter. Reruns matter, bro. Maybe. No, no, reruns are great money. Syndication, that's where, that's all the money. I'm just saying Martin hasn't been in any big pictures recently. He nah. hasn't been in any TV shows recently. You know, you could tell when Nah, he was in that, well, he had that show on, uh, what the fuck was it? They tried to do USA something. USA or some yeah, shit like that? I think they tried to do something. I don't something. remember. But he's touring stand-up. Like, anytime a big artist starts touring, then shit ain't going right. Well, he never was touring, though. He started touring he was now. He would just come out Son, there and be you like, be on tour with the host. That's it. He was doing Charlemagne. He wouldn't even tell no jokes. Word up. <laughs> That's a How y'all doing out there? Y'all ready for Andrew Schultz? Y'all ready for the first one? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Either way, I'm happy to see it. I'm doing the screening Friday. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna watch it, man. That's the, that, I love those movies, man. To the brilliant idiot listeners, uh, if 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 you follow me on like Instagram or something, shoot me a DM or I don't know. Do we have an email? No. Well, I, I want to invite a few of the listeners. It's not a big screening room. Um, it's like a 70 people screening room, so it's really like some cool shit. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to be there to watch the movie because I want to see Yo, this it. is a big deal, listeners, because anytime I ask Charlamagne if I can come to a screening, he said there's no seats. That is up. not true. That's <laughs> what happens <laughs> every time. A, I'm like, yo, I need four true. seats. He's like, yo, it's tight. The only the funny it's thing is, tight. Andrew's asked me to come to one movie. Guess Which what one? it was? What? Black Panther. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to shoot that shit up. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the one white guy. You know what's so funny? Wakanda for never. If any other white guy made that joke, I'd be like, yo, let's get him out of here. Pat him down. All right? <laughs> and you might be the only white guy I trust to not do a mass shoot. <laughs> not shoot up. I'm not that white. Jesus Christ. All right, but yeah, this Friday. If, uh, DM me or something, and I'll shoot you the link and the password to get in. I'm only going to do a few, but hit me up on the Instagram. That's dope. Now, where do we start, man? How'd you bring in the new year? I was in Angola. Oh yeah, you know my spot. You know I Thank love to. So I, love, I love to go to the beautiful island of AXA, man. Salute uh, to all my Angolan people. It's you know I've been going to Angola for several years now. Yeah. I go like twice a year, sometimes, sometimes three, and it's like yo, it's it's 
it's the illest shit in the world when you're in another country and people be like, welcome home, Charlemagne. Ah. You know what I mean? And they know my wife and they like just happy to see us and like, yeah. you know, the, the 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 staff we use, like we got it, like my man Tyrone, who's the Tyrone, he's the chef, like, yeah. like it's home. Like it yeah. literally does feel like home. And it's like, you know, like Duvall pulled up for a couple of days. I saw and, that. I saw you flexing Duvall style with the with the drone. That was his. The big pull out. You know, I don't have no drone. Uh -huh. Oh, you don't? Know. <laughs> I was Duvall doing oh, that good, shit. Good, you good, couldn't good, tell good. it was Duvall? I said what? You couldn't tell it was him? Well, you guys were together. Oh. <laughs> All you guys look simple. No, I'm sure. Shut up. <laughs> like, I don't know how to do that drone shit. That, that shit makes me want to get a drone, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the patience to carry that type of shit around, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I, like, I be so in the moment. But you got so many people with you that you could just be like, you have to carry the drone. Like, Angelo, where's the white kid? Oh, there it is. Jesus Christ, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Andrew goes, Yo, did you hear Andrew what he goes, just where's said? the white kid? And he goes, I'm half black. No, but he said, I'm half black. He said it the most Just Caucasian fuck your wife's side, bro. <laughs> yeah, real talk. That's fucked up, bro. Like, you can't just say fuck your wife's side like that. What did your daddy do to you? Um, your dad's white. Yeah, he's corny. Wow. Yeah. This is like the opposite of being black. What's that? Wait, what's going on? What's going on? He hates on? his white dad. You hate your white <laughs> You got to know Jesus him to hate him. Christ. Well, now nah, we had a ball. Uh, uh, Duval pulled up. Um, the homie Tiffany Williams pulled up. Uh, the homie Candida was out there with her with her husband Lamont and her daughter. Like, it was fun, man. This That's a good, good. Good family affair. Good Van family come? and friend affair. Van was there. Van, the Van, and the Van was there. Salute to Van. You know what I mean? It was good. It's we got to get Van good. on the pod, man. We got to check in with Van. He's going to be here on the... 20, next 20 something okay yeah not 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 this week coming but the next week after that he'll be here yeah we gotta check in on van but i just i listen I'm, as long as i live i want to bring my my new year's in on the island yeah for the rest of my life like that's yeah. my that's my plan for the rest of my life i'll be bringing my new year's in in angola wow i'm not like i don't care what job comes up i don't care like you know what what work i'm not doing it like you got to disconnect and take that time for yourself my new year's mm. eve that's how i like to bring in my new year's eve mm. it just gives me a different peace of mind right I, I it just feels good you get charged up you get charged up man yeah. what did you do on NYE? um so i went to africa for the break hey but not black africa <laughs> not black africa i went to arabic africa arabic africa we're moving down slowly okay okay and uh so i went to egypt so you went to french montana's part of i went africa. to french i went to french's africa okay yeah 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 and uh i went to egypt and morocco so i did new year's eve in morocco uh, with my girl, and then we were in uh, Egypt, uh, Cairo, checking out the pyramids. Funniest thing, Christmas. Andrew sent me. He sent me a picture of the Sphinx. The Sphinx. The Sphinx. The Sphinx, Sphinx. Whatever the fuck. The Sphinx know. is the guy that uh, beat uh, Ali. It was a gas station. Yeah, but you. <laughs> <laughs> so he was he was side by side with it. Oh, this is great. So the Sphinx uh, has no nose. And the Andrew got off the nose. <laughs> like, said, what the you, fuck? Got, you got to slide him some nose, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so how was it? Um, I heard Egypt is kind of whack outside of the pyramids. Oh, the people who built the pyramids could not have been the people who built Cairo. <laughs> like, it, Cairo's a fucking dump. It is a fucking dump. Really? And the pyramids are the most miraculous thing you've ever seen in your entire life. No, I mean, that was the UFOs. That Speechless. was the extraterrestrials. I, I have a different view on it now. Let's hear it. it. I'm here for this, baby. I don't think that human progress is linear. Mm. So I think the way we look at human mm. progress is like like apes become humans, humans learn how to use Ooh. fire, humans Ooh. use how to, yeah, right? So you, we might have been more advanced back in the day. And doesn't technology that made us dumber. Now, no no, maybe maybe technology didn't make us dumber, but maybe what happened is when a generation or like a civilization dies out, now we have all the information from that civilization because we have the internet, we have phones, we have communication, mm -hmm. we talk. But if you were just by yourself on a patch of land, there's very few humans in the world at that time. And your civilization thrived and then died. No one remembers what tech you had. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why I kind of agree with that because uh, also when it comes to like genetics, right? We don't know what humans looked like back then. Fam, I took a picture of this mummy. Mm -hmm. I have a picture on the phone of the mummy. This twelve you, feet tall. No, 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 not okay. tall, tiny. But their heads, <laughs> their heads, our head like here in the back doesn't go back that far. If you look at that mummy's head, it looks. Trying to think of a, uh, it looks like it's wearing one of those ski helmets, you know, that kind of go way further back, so it's yeah. aerodynamic. Yeah. It moves way back, another maybe six inches further back. Now, I'm not saying that they're these early humans were able to like access that part of their brain. How do you know they were human though? Maybe, maybe they were. How do we know aliens? That, there were aliens that died here, bro? Maybe. Yeah, you said it was tiny. 
The head Small, shape. I'll, I'll get a picture of it and I'll show you. But the yeah. head shape is clearly different. To me, that was the most drastic thing about it. Yeah. Clearly different head shape. But when you see the size of these fucking pyramids, man, I was speechless. I was literally fucking speechless. I can't wait to see him in person. You gotta go. It's un I mean, you go, you see the pyramids, maybe see some more pyramids down south, and then you get the fuck out of there. Yeah. And but when you see the fucking sheer size of them, man, and how far they had to bring them, you know, they brought them from 17 kilometers away. They didn't How far is 17 kilometers? <sighs> Half a mile? No, miles. Miles. Miles away. Look up kilometers. I got a high school education, night school. GED. I don't exactly know how about kilometers yeah. are either, but think about that. Like, it's not like they just, 10 miles, 10 and a half miles. One so, kilometer is 10 and a half miles? No, no, one, 17. Oh. So think about it. It's like, it's not like they're just, it's not like they're just using the rocks in the area. They chose a specific area that was on a plane. It was high so that the water wouldn't erode it. Yeah, they knew exactly what the fuck they it were doing. It just seems so, and, and I always say this when it talks. We talk about being human. It just seems so physically impossible. But I'm only saying that based on the realm of my understanding and what I've seen. There we go. I don't know how human beings were back then because there, isn't there theories that humans were much taller back then? And when you go inside the pyramids, you look at the hydroglyphics and they make these tall, skinny beings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's possible. I mean, the, another thing is like they. I don't think that the. I don't think that the pyramids were used for the reasons they said. And I also think they're way older. Mm. I don't think they're 4,000 years old because that puts them in biblical times. Yeah. And I think like all the biblical people want to be like, yeah, we made them shits. Yeah. Nah. What do you think they were for? Some say that they were like a power system and they used the same kind of technology that Tesla used. Remember that guy, Nikola Tesla, everybody talks about mm -hmm. and like how he had like a, um, he had like a cordless uh, power system. I don't know exactly what it is, but you can look it up. So it was. It How about was, Tesla that made the cars? Uh, Elon Musk named the t car after this guy Nikola Tesla. Got you. And apparently Nikola Tesla was like killed by Edison and like the power companies back in the day because he had another way of generating power that would be free. It would just mm. be using like the fucking neurons in the air or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So they say it could be that. I mean, they say they they built them using like water levees and canals. All I'm saying is you look at this thing and you sit down there and you realize what humans are capable of. And like, as we take the podcast to the next year and as we take our careers to the next year, I wanted to see the, I want to see peak human ingenuity. Mm. And I want to be inspired by that. I want to look at those pyramids and be like, human beings somehow got those fucking bricks to the top of that pyramid. There is nothing that I shouldn't be able to do. If they could figure that out, I should be able to yeah, figure it I out. Yeah, I mean, the new pyramids are like Twitter, right? The new pyramids are we were, Instagram. We, like, seriously. We were wondering what the new pyramids are. They are. Yeah. Because all of that shit, when you think about 20 years ago, that's yeah. YouTube, whoever invented that shit, like, those are the new pyramids. Bishop T.D. Jakes always says, you have that in you. He said, when you look at a human being, yeah. a human being has that business in them. They yes. have that those pyramids in them. They have that social media site in them. They have something in them yes. that just hasn't been pulled out yet or they haven't pulled out of themselves yet. Yeah. So humans are uh, able to do extraordinary things, extraordinary yes. things, shit that make you look extraterrestrial. That's the type of shit you want to create, right? Yeah. Some shit where you'd be like, yo, nobody Aliens on this planet could have made that That's shit. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And no, I get it. I get it. I mean, I, like even, I feel that way. I feel small like when I'm like on a boat in the yeah. middle of the ocean. Yes. And you're just looking around and you're like looking at this big body of water and you're looking up at the sky and you just like... I'm insignificant. Not only are you insignificant, <laughs> but look how dope all of this is. Yeah. Like something created this. Yeah. But that something also created you yeah. to be a part of it. Yeah. That shit right there makes you feel a different level of worthiness, yeah. bro. Like I'm just as magnificent as this ocean. I'm just as magnificent as this sky. I'm just yeah. as magnificent as these trees, these these fish that you see in the water. I'm just as magnificent as all of these things. Yeah. So you got to act like it. Uh-huh. Sometimes you need to like put yourself in the situation to know it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, it, we can look at pictures of the pyramids and like we can look at things at a distance for a while, but there's something about like being in that ocean or being in front of the pyramid. It really puts things in perspective. Like when, when you make a movie or even when you build something, I don't care if you put a nail into a piece of wood and create yeah. a fucking... The coat hanger, there's something about going like, oh, I did that. I can do things. I think it's probably what people feel when they first start to lose weight. Like they're fat for a while and then they go, ooh, they start to unlock that hidden character that exists within them. I thought you said carrot. And I was like, there's no, definitely not character. any carrots in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't know you were there, under there, buddy. Yeah. 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 So it was cool to see. It was cool to be inspired. Dope. And reset like that. Dope. Yeah. What do you think of um, George Lopez's comments about 
about uh, killing Donald Trump. What'd he say? Well, you know, there was this fake story going around that Iranian authorities had an $80 million bounty right. for the killing of the president. That's the first thing we have to address. We've told y'all this on this radio. I said yeah. the radio. On this goddamn podcast for years. Yeah. When will we stop falling for fake news? Yeah. When are we going to stop letting the internet dictate our motherfucking thoughts and our actions? Who is actually doing research? Because yeah. when I saw that story, first thing I did was Google it to see where the source was. Yeah. God I couldn't forbid. find a reliable source. Yeah. So I'm like... I don't know if this shit is real, bro. Like, where is this coming from? But the internet took it and ran with it. Yeah. Why do we do that? Because we want to believe it. What do you always say? Nobody cares about the truth and the lies more entertaining. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? So, Wouldn't you like to believe your people built the pyramids? I think we did. I'm I mean, just saying, like, your, no, meaning your people, like, your people. Like, the Egyptians, people? nah, like, Egyptians Ooh. that rolled up on these pyramids were like, uh, yeah, yeah, we built that. Um... I don't, I'll be honest with you. you it talk it about doesn't matter about no, the pyramids. No, no, if you want to talk about narratives, I think the alien narrative is better. <laughs> <laughs> it's better because you know you didn't do it. Yeah, but yeah, what, yeah, if yeah. Someone, what if someone was like, yo, you know Charlemagne, uh, you know, aliens actually really put all Charlemagne's genius in his head. That's dope. Yeah, you would like that. I would run with that yeah, one. Yeah, Are yeah, you yeah, serious? Yeah. What if they're like, Charlemagne's not really real and it's actually an alien doing all that stuff? That would be dope. Because that would mean, I, <laughs> that would be, that would mean I'm doing such fly shit yeah. that... Him being in the Illuminati ain't good enough. Right. Him being gay, giving up that ass yeah. for these positions ain't good enough. An alien had to come down and put this shit in my head, and I'm fucking up the game so much that right. they had to blame it on extraterrestrials. I would actually like that. Right, but, right. But George Lopez comment under the IG account that says Iran offers $80 million bounty for Donald Trump's head after, and he said, we'll do it for half. And so now, of course, he's going to get that... From the Secret Service. As he should. As he fucking should. Y'all know I love me a good joke as much as anybody. It's not even a joke. Leave people to fuck. Leave the president to fuck alone. I, this ain't about Republican. This ain't about Democrat. This ain't about liberal. This ain't about conservative. He's the fucking president of the United States of America. What's the joke? I, I don't understand the joke. If there was something clever about doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't think there's no clever What's way. What's the joke? I don't think there's a clever way to joke about killing the president, bro. No. I don't think it's worth it. I'm not saying it's no. I take it back. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not you clever. Get clever. I see your wheels turning. Don't that white privilege will not protect you I'm from this. I'm not going to talk about okay? the current president. The Secret Service will come. I'm not talking about the current president. They're going to send the men in black for you. Say what? They're going to send the men in black for you. Oh, and then put that promo. Minorities man. get the Secret yeah. Service. White people get the men in black. <laughs> <laughs> because what they do to us, we got to forget. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not worth it. He's the president. Yeah. There's not a president in the history of the United States of America who didn't get. Uh, death threats and who people didn't the Secret Service didn't react to yeah. Donald Trump got just as many as Barack Obama yeah. just as many people threatening to kill Donald Trump as they were threatening to kill Barack Obama Yes. so I, I don't see the reason for him yeah. leaving that comment the only difference is that the people threatening to kill Donald Trump are like the liberal pussies that don't have guns and the people threatening to kill Barack Obama were like loaded they were stacked. Hey. Republicans got weapons. Bro. They got the AKs. They got yeah. the nines. Nobody willing to kill. No one's saying that they're going to kill Donald Trump has a gun or would even do shit. I'm not sleeping on none of these people. These, fuck the Ooh. liberals. Ooh. Them people that'll run up to you, give you a hug with that bomb on their back. God damn it. Who are they? Those guys from Iran. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Those guys I run from. All right. <laughs> the They're not going to let it. Taylor, don't worry Taylor about it. Taylor held up something. Taylor, don't worry. Yo. Yo. Iran said about Trump. No, no, there was like this Iranian who was crying about like, oh, we don't, we don't hate Americans. We just hate. They probably the, don't. They don't. <laughs> just like Americans don't hate Iranians. No. But if you come and want some smoke, you gonna get it. This is what I keep telling motherfuckers. It's like all these like hipsters are, are are on Twitter now talking about like American like American politics and geopolitics. It's so pathetic. It's like they forget how history works. They're out here and they're going to uh, uh, don't poke the bear that's Iran. And it's mm -hmm. like we're the bear. Do you forget who the fuck we are? I agree, but the smoke got to be worth it. If you what is an embassy? There's multiple things. The it's a hotel. It's not that cool. It's about three star. Embassy what, Suites. Embassy Suites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that who they attacked? Oh. They got one of them in Iraq? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> no, but like an embassy is your country's soil yeah. somewhere else. Iran has an embassy in America. We don't go in there. We're not allowed in there because yeah. that's their soil. If you attack an American embassy, you are attacking America. Are we sure they did it though? 100%. I just, you know what I hate about these bad they guys? They admitted it. They I said hate, it. I hate all these bad guys because they don't ever have no origin story. 
We started hearing about them yeah. after we got them. And it's like, oh, he was a bad guy. He did X, Y, and Z. He just said, could you lead us up to it so then maybe we won't feel so You want to so know, conflicted. like, <laughs> yes. you want to hold the whole, like, uh, what's it, Uncle Ben know. is killed yeah. or whatever? when yeah, they yeah. did some shit, when they did some shit, yeah, yeah, put yeah. A dick, throw it up there. Right, Make right. it a bigger deal so when y'all finally do go get these guys, because right. every five years they go get a bad guy. Yeah. That seems like You it. find a new one. You find whether it's Bin Laden, whether it's Saddam Hussein, yeah, now yeah. it's this guy. Like, it's all bullshit. But here, here's the thing. What like, do you mean it's all bullshit? Like, they're not real bad guys? They say it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, none of this really matters. Do you know what I'm saying? We're just there because we're fighting over the most powerful resource in the world, which is oil. Iran has oil. Like, you don't think there's bad guys in every other part of the world? You don't yeah. think there's bad guys in the Amazon fucking up people that are tribes? You think there's bad guys in Africa? Yeah. But we're like, oh, but yeah, you just kind of handle your shit over there. Yeah. There's a bunch of bad guys in so the why, That's what I'm saying. So why does America, like you said, the greatest military powerhouse in the world, Son, why was you, this guy such a threat that they had to go get him now? It was a sign of strength. It was, yo, you're getting a little cute. They you were getting it's a, a distraction from the impeachment. They were getting... No, they were... This is what people don't want. This people have such short memories. Do you know if Hillary was president? You know how much faster we would have been in Iran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hillary yeah, yeah. wants to kill everyone in that region. You think she'd have got him already? Already. Yeah. Look, for regardless of how you think about Trump, he is an anti-interventionist in policy. He's get people out. Let's go. But if you attack an American embassy, but you they, have the responsibility to protect Americans abroad. Yeah, but and but, if you send a message that it's okay to attack an embassy, mm-hmm. then other Americans that work at the embassies are like, "What is that? Is that going to be us?" <laughs> but isn't doing what he did now contradicting everything he says about pulling people out? Because now you got to deploy more people. You got to put more people in. If you come at the king, you best not miss. And by I mean king, I mean America. If you come at the baddest motherfuckers on the planet, mm-hmm. you better not miss. Listen, that's the other thing. When they I heard- tested us. It was it was, a, it was a test. It was like, yo, y'all been pussy. We've been doing whatever we want. We blew up some Saudi oil tankers. We we uh, we we shot down one of your one of your drones. Granted, the drone shouldn't be on there, but mm-hmm. it was nothing. There was no missiles on the drone or anything like that. But we shot down. They've been they've been going to see how far they could go. And they went a little too far with the NBC thing. I haven't and spoken the, to anybody who said he wasn't a bad guy. Yo, yo, he's a bad guy, I mean, but most, this is the most important thing of the whole thing. Where'd they kill him? Iraq, right? Where's he from? Iran. Why the fuck you in, uh, in Iraq? I'm going to be honest with you. Why are you in Iraq? I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea because the only thing I know about Iraq is the only thing that separates them is the last letter in the name. That's it. It's all Ira to me. That's. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the difference between Iraq Here's my and Iraq. Question being is, honest. Is why you in Iran? Yeah. It sounds like they were cousins. It sounds like they're right by each other. Oh, they all are cousins. Okay. I mean, they're all coming from the same Arabic people. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, of yeah. course, I'm sure you can trace them all back to like tribal stuff. So he right? can't be in Iraq? Say again? He's not supposed to be in Iraq? Why are you in Iraq if you're not up to some nefarious shit? We don't you're know. You're supposed the, to be in Iran. It could be pussy. It could be food. Like we, why? I'm we not gonna lie. Why are we just assuming this man's up to no good? Persian girls are bad, bro. Hey, hey. They got plenty of good looking women in Iran, dude. You stay in Iran if you want good looking women. And I heard they got them at the airport. What you mean? What? I heard it was at the airport. They keep him all at the airport? No, I heard they got him at the airport when they took him out. No, they, they were driving. They, they were driving. driving. Yeah, yeah, they were okay. driving on things. It was a sign of strength. It was, basically it was a like, drone, right? It was a drone. This is what it was. It was, if you take our embassy out, we just want to remind you who the fuck we are. We'll take down your number one commander like that, and not a single American ma- uh, American uh, troop will be deployed. But literally, like that. So well, it's a message. they figured out how to not... How to keep drones from working in those regions. The only reason I say that. What you mean? Because when Duval was in Anguilla, yeah. we were staying at this one. The and they dr- wouldn't allow the drone the to The drone go. wouldn't move. Yeah, because we invent the technology. <laughs> That's how. Okay? And the guy was like, well, it's too close to the airport. It's like, how, how do they make fake Jordans? Because the same motherfuckers that make the real ones make the fake ones. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They got the yeah, codes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We invent all the shit. Yeah. And then we sell everybody the bullshit. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, you selling missiles to Saudi Arabia. You selling missiles or planes to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, we send you the fuck shit. Yeah. Once we make some better shit, you get the other one. Chris, come in for a second. I want to ask you a question. I just want to ask you a simple question. Because everybody thinks Andrew's a Trump supporter. What do you think about this situation? Chris, come over here because the camera's behind you. I mean, we don't really have to see Chris. <laughs> yeah, but... He's but got he's, a much better voice than face. He's going to block everybody. Remember when oh. people found out he was white? <laughs> yes, they were shocked. It was absolute shock. Yeah, everybody thought he was black. <laughs> yeah, all right, go. Uh, yeah, I mean, I see it a little differently. I, I think there is more than just a show of strength. I don't think the attack on the embassy was that big a deal in the scope of what's happening in the Middle East. Um... I think Saudi Arabia and Israel are probably playing a much larger role in this decision 100%. Than, than that's being discussed. Um, 100%. It, it, it is true. Iran's been like incredibly aggressive in terms of Iraq in particular. Mm-hmm. Like, so you got to understand that 
The Iranians are Shiite Muslims. Yes. Uh, Iraq, Saudis are Sunni. Are Sunni. And when Saddam Hussein was in charge of Iraq, it was a Sunni. No. No, he was Sunni. But, but, but what was, was Iraq? Shi- there was a Shiite minority. But what was Iraq when he was in charge? Well, it was a dictatorship. It was a dictatorship, but it was a place where everybody could live, regardless of your of your well, religious denomination. Unless you're a Kurd. But but he ruled with a, an iron well, hand. Like Kurds Steve. are Muslims. Oh, Kurds. Right. But if you were Muslims, you were but Shiite, you were Sunni, everybody was protected. Right. So when he when he was taken out, that opened up an incredibly volatile situation. And basically, it's still playing out now where Iran, you got to remember, Iraq and Iran were in a bloody, terrible war for like yeah, yeah, 15 yeah. years. I mean, it was a horrific war, one of the worst in world history, like really terrible. But now Iran has been asserting more and more influence over Iraq to the point where it's a lot of people, especially Americans in, in Israel, see them as essentially running Iraq right now. Right. So I think that's largely what this was about, which was trying 100%. to give them a lot of pushback in Iraq. I mean, my so cons- was taking them out worth it? Well, we don't know. We yet. haven't kicked them out because what's no, you're saying is- taking out the guy. Yeah, oh, taking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my concern. If you yes. look, at, if you look at Iran, 100 over the last year, you take one American life, you got to go. Wow. Simple as that. What do you mean? Ah. Uh, what I does mean, that mean? I mean, McDonald's kills way more people in America than Jesus this Christ, guy you want did. us to nuke McDonald's? But I'm Chris? just saying, like... No, 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 but is, <laughs> is McDonald's not giving you a choice whether or not to eat McDonald's? Or true. do you make a choice to walk into McDonald's and true. then feed your fat self that, that shit? Well, we have that choice, but we also have... I you mean, don't have you, a choice when you, you, could when say, you step on a landmine. What's line? this guy doing in Iran? He was up to nefarious stuff. You right. can also say, what the fuck are we doing in Iraq? Guess what? Nefarious I stuff. We were right. So, so you dealing with the most nefarious? No, I get it. So but what happens if they vote us out? Vote our troops to get the fuck out of Iraq? What happens? They're not they going to leave. Did. They're not going to leave. Mm. Here's my. Th- this is my bigger concern outside. But of, you know why they did that? Because they're being bribed by the Iranians. Sure. The Iranians are bribing all the tribal leaders in the Iraq area, right? To who? Ba- this is tribal territory. People don't understand like what like Iraq is. Iraq mm-hmm. is not like you're going to Chicago or New York City. We're talking about like very. <sighs> It, I don't understand the right word. Like very primitive levels of living. We're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, like, yeah. like I had a buddy of mine who was uh, uh, had a Marine troop there. He was in nation building for Iraq. And like he had to introduce the idea of garbage cans. Like we're talking about like very simple levels of life here. But, you know? I mean, New York doesn't have garbage cans. Every corner. All I see is trash on the street. Good, bro. All I see is trash on the living good. If you're not walking trash on the street everywhere. Come back to that regular life with us, man. (laughs) New York is numbers trash on the street everywhere. Well, we got a lot of shit to throw out. (laughs) 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 I guess I guess my point is it's like it it is it is a very tricky situation. For sure. Absolutely. And I'm not saying that America's are the good guys in terms of what our Middle East policy is. Right. But Iran definitely is not. No, but the, my, my concern outside of whatever sort of retaliation ends up happening, because obviously if they retaliate in New York or L.A., that's going to be a whole other story. That's the scariest shit. That's the scariest shit They're to not me. doing shit. They, they, well, they, no, I'm not going to ever be that cocky. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. We've never had a president this branded. Meaning right. that they don't have to strike. Did you see what they did? They what? shot some missiles up in the air. You know why nobody they got, got that little but, fireworks? But you know why nobody got killed? Why is that? Because uh, Iraqi soldiers tipped the U.S. soldiers that were in that base. And I, and I know that because I got a, a guy who's got people over there. was there. minimal damage to the base. They didn't I, even I, damage the base. It was a fake sign of strength. You know what they said in Iran? They said 80 Americans died. What they're trying to do is show their people that they're not pussy, but they did the go. most pussy but, thing but, and let it go. They literally did the, hold ha- me back, but, hold me but back. But what would have happened if they hadn't gotten tipped off? Say again? What would Nothing. Have I don't believe they're that. They're not stupid. We'll turn their that. whole country to a parking lot. I'm they're sure. They're not stupid. But they're already ready to, willing to die. No, they're not. They do jihad. Okay, but this 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 is what I was trying to say. This is They, what, they want to die. They take some 11-year-old kid who knows nothing else. He has nothing. <laughs> in the world to do jihad not the guys that are living good I they're eating I, caviar I, my, fucking pussy my, scary, my, 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 my fear with America always is sometimes we get a little too cocky and a little too arrogant you really forget we're the one that knocks bro yeah, you but remember not, but you, you forget 9-11 Say what? You forget 9-11. What about, I forget it, I was here. That's what I'm saying. So we can't get too cocky and think things like that can't happen. No. That's all I'm saying. 100% things like that can happen. I'm not saying they cannot happen. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is when they do happen, we are the craziest people on the planet. Is it worth it though? We think the Russians are. But is it worth it? Is is it worth worth losing all those American lives? It's never never worth it to lose American life. But if you take an American life, there has to be 
the highest consequences. A I, single listen, American life. That I agree with. The fucking tidal wave is coming. But the only reason, only, and the only reason I don't like to act super gangster with shit like that is because, it's, and I don't know, maybe this one hits a little different only because for some reason, I know a lot of motherfucking soldiers. Like, I know a lot As of people should. that are going to be deployed. Like, one of my homegirls was telling me this morning, she was like, motherfucker, I got a year and a half, I had a year and a half left. Mm -hmm. And then I would be able to pass off my benefits. I'd do my 10 and I'd be able to pass off my benefits to my child. Now this shit happens. Mm -hmm. So I might get deployed. Mm -hmm. And she like 25 years old. Mm -hmm. And then when you see these soldiers talk about you, I know that shit's all fun and games. She's 25 years old and she's been in the army for 10 years? Well, not 25. She's like... Which army is she in? ISIS? Nah, she's like 27, 28. I think 28. She's been in... She'd be, it'd be 10 years and a year and a half. So okay. whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but then when you see these people talking online and they're like, yo, um... It's all fun and games, but yo, we might die. Yeah, yeah. It's those of us who aren't coming back. Like, it's easy for us to talk in that cocky on the radio and on podcasts and like, America, this America, that. We ain't on the front lines. 100%. So we are just on like, the yo, front line. If no, you're no, in New no, York no. City, you're no, on no, the front no. line. We are on the front line. No, no, no. As long as you stay away from Trump Towers, you're fine. Mm. That's, what, that's, the beauty. That's, what, that's what they said at the World Trade Center. <laughs> but, right. but, but George Bush didn't have no, no branding. Trump got branding. If you really want to make a statement for Trump, you can like what go is, hit something. What is America's branding? What do you mean? What is our branding? It's New York, baby. Yeah, the Big but, Apple. But Donald the Trump is Donald Trump. Tower. But Donald Trump is the guy that's out there talking that Son, shit. But they know they're not coming close to Donald Trump. But you can blow up the fucking Trump Towers in the middle of New York. All right. And that's easy. All right. That's a little easier than uh, Freedom Towers and all, all right. that shit. Freedom Towers is kind of a little difficult to get in and out of. All right. Hey. Look, all I'm saying is, as New Yorkers, we are on the front line. It's not like we're that's, not. That's, that's and we have true. been here. We've seen every Armageddon movie in the world, and New York is always the first. It's never Monk's Corner. Mm hmm. Right. You know what I mean? We got to deal That's with this shit. That's the place we try to drive to. And also, New Yorkers, let's be real about this. It's Manhattan. It, it ain't Brooklyn. It ain't Queens. Ain't nobody going to Kew Gardens to blow shit up. You know what I mean? Like, it's nah, Manhattan. there was a plot for Atlantic <coughs> Avenue once. Say what? Atlantic Avenue. They were going to blow up Atlantic what? Avenue. What were they going to blow up there? The train, the the hub. Atlantic Avenue Station. Yeah, that's Who? what that, Yeah, I've, I've always heard that about the train. Who's going to blow it up? Uh, there were some uh, Middle Eastern guys who they 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 caught them before it happened. But Atlantic Avenue was one of the targets. Yeah, man, sorry, stop bro. robbing them stores, bro. Bro, <laughs> can you stop robbing the fucking bro. Yemen stores, man? Bro. These poor Yemenite I'm people. You, they man. going through a hard hardship in their own country. Then they come to Brooklyn. They open a deli. Now they're going through hardship over here. Leaving them alone, yo. I'm not sleeping on nothing. Look, I, 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 I want you to be right. Yeah, bro. I want you to be absolutely right. But I'm not sleeping on nothing, especially in this era. Because shit is just weird, bro. Yo, it's global politics. We have to understand global politics are the prison yard. You know what I mean? And while everybody goes to prison, I would imagine, and they start saying, yo, would it be better if everybody just kind of gets along here, this, that, the other? And then somebody acts out. And if you go, oh, that's okay. He was just having a rough day. Now you're food. Well, then you, also got, you also got the guys in the well, prison who want to butt fuck you just for the sake of butt fucking you. know you. who does the Cause, butt cause, fucking? Cause, cause, <laughs> you know who does the butt fucking? Whoa! Did you just fart? <laughs> Jesus no, Christ, that was Taylor! So good. What was that? <laughs> oh, Taylor, I sound like right before he about to pop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Taylor came in to work today. <laughs> Both her <laughs> eyes are, are completely red. The blood vessels pop. Blood vessels what the pop. Fuck. From what? You got a hemorrhoid? I'm not doing this. I'm not talking about it. Be honest. No. I want to know why. Forever. It's I think she getting beat up. up. Is a guy getting? Is a guy beating you up? I saw you I'm on a. Not, I saw you Taylor, on a yacht. Taylor, I saw you I'm on a yacht. My eyes. Taylor, if a man is hitting you, you let us know First right all, fucking now. If a now. man's hitting me, y'all know that I'll be in jail, right? Why? Um, I, because I'm gonna kill him. No, you'd be knocked you out. What are you see. talking about? Yeah, you, you would kill him in his embossed. You could like 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 a curly and Sue. What is that? Boink. What is that shit called? Mo Curly. What was that? What were those guys called? The, the Three, three Stooges. Stooges. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon Eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need that sound. Does it effect. hurt? No. I okay. can see clear. Right, the moral of the story is George Lopez was wrong. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Stop threatening the goddamn president of the United States of America. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Yo, if, I don't care if, if, if Bow Wow became the president of the United States of America. You can't say you wanted to kill Shad Moss. Unless you do it funny. Man, shut up, man. If you do it, because I'll defend Dude. comedy to the death. That wasn't comedy, though. Say what? That wasn't comedy. It, and by the way, I agree. If you're was, George there's Lopez, no joke. We'll do it for half. But why would you want to bring all that heat to your people? Yeah, you already also, know they don't like you. Exactly. Like, you know they don't like Mexicans. Not to mention, you're American. Stop working for half. You know what I mean? You acting like you're Mexican, Mexican. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop doing these deals. You're on this side of the wall. You know what I mean? Like, George Lopez out here trying to undercut Iran. Yeah, that's fucked up. 
Why are you trying to take brown jobs, yeah, George up, Lopez? Real. He's really trying to steal brown Bro, jobs. Bro, that is fucked up. George, George, it's like you absolutely, <laughs> you absolutely reinforced the narrative about Mexican people and didn't even mean to. Every bro. Mexican stereotype. What did Trump say? They rape, they murder, they're stealing our jobs, and he's just out here like, "Hey, we'll do it for half." We'll do it for half, you, you, bro. Trump is right. Come on, George, 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 you be walk better. Walk right into that one, bro. Don't let, your, don't let your emotions get better. Get the best. Say of you're you, not man. doing it for any less than fifteen dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! My God! Yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> See, George, how funny killing a president can be if you want. <laughs> George Lopez, his name is Andrew Schultz. I'm sure you're familiar with him by now. Yo, George uh, is an OG. I love a, George. It'd be a nice little Twitter beef to get, I get into. I love George. <laughs> I love George. I love George. But be honest, George, you're not doing shit about Trump. Let's be honest. Everybody Nobody talk, is. By the way, talks all this by shit the way, Trump, not doing by the way, none of, by the way, none of us are. In this situation, in a situation like this, there is literally nothing we can do but pray and hope for the best. That's dude, And if you're not, and if you're an atheist, all you can do is hope for the best. That's it. That's it. That's Seriously. It. Yeah, what do you do in this situation when you're an atheist? You just you keep going about your life. You drink your Starbucks, you drink your water. Because by the way... Hey, are you pointing at me like I'm an atheist? I'm, I'm just saying, if a bomb drops right now... How do you know? What do you, I'm not an atheist. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, uh, oh. Whoa. What just got coughed up right there? Listen, if a bomb <laughs> drops on this building right now, yeah. what the fuck can we do about it? Listen, Taylor looks like it already got dropped on this bill. <laughs> I think you look, you look like you going I'm through like, it. Like, that's my, yo, yo I'm, 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 I'm 41 years old. Yeah. I got about 40 more summers left. I'm not wasting my time on shit that I can't control, bro. Facts. I'm just not. Facts. I'm not going to sit around and stress about this shit. Like, do I want to see more troops going to war? No, because that shit hits different when you actually know these people. And it's not like I didn't know soldiers before, but... It's different when you actually got homies that's in the military and people you know that's in the military. And yes, like you like these are your lives. These I can't are these see are, you over there fighting like like because it's real. It's real, dude. So I, I you know I don't I don't I don't like this situation. I don't. I, I hope that nothing else comes of it. I hope it. Every I hope that we we made a statement, got rid of this guy. These dudes wanted to flex to show they not pussy. Nobody got hurt. Did you I, see? I hope this where it ends. Did you see Colin Kaepernick's statement? No. What do you say? Poor Colin, man. He what goes, uh, he goes, uh, when, uh, let's read it verbatim. Yeah. Read it verbatim. So we didn't get it wrong. We, we can't, we, we don't want to take this is a perfect context. example of like, you just do the research. Just do the research. You don't grab anything that fits into your narrative. You Pull just it up. Do the I, didn't, I didn't see what he said. I was gone. It was on Instagram, right? I think it was on Instagram. I was in Angola. But he said, it's another example of what is it? Uh, there's nothing new about American terrorist attacks against black and brown people for the expansion of American imperialism. Right. American is always sanction, sanction and besiege black and brown bodies, both at home and abroad. American material uh, militarism is the weapon wielded by American imperialism to enforce its policing and plundering of the non white world. What's the problem? Um, do you know what Kasim Soleimani did for a living? The guy who they killed? Uh -uh. Never heard of him until he got killed. This is his job. Iranian imperialism. Besieging brown people. Only those brown people mm. were in Iraq. The mm. point is, know what the fuck you're talking about. If you're going to grandstand about it, know who was killed. So, the, so they took out a brown guy who, who was, was doing the exact doing the same, same thing. thing we're doing. Okay. We're both fucked up. Simple as that. But like, don't, but the point is, is like, you don't bother to research at all about what's going on in the situation. You're like, oh, this fits into my narrative. Well, you know, I'll slot it right in like a video yeah, game. Yeah, and then yeah, we're good yeah, to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But meanwhile, he was the other, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kasim Soleimani. He, he was a brown guy who was oppressing other brown people. Other brown people. <sighs> Sounds like a great point to me. I don't know. Let's pay some bills, man. Okay, uh, fine. Other than your absolute best friends, <laughs> who could you ask to bring you red wine at 4 p.m.? Chet Hanks. Sushi at 9 p.m. That's my guy. Bomba And a breakfast burrito at 8 a.m., okay? Postmates. <laughs> Postmates is your personal food delivery, grocery delivery, whatever you can think of, delivery service all year round. No more trips to the store. You don't even have to know where the store is. Postmates will deliver anything to you. Download the app for iOS or Android for free. Browse local restaurants and businesses and track your delivery, okay? 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Postmates will bring you what you want within the hour. Anything you're craving, all right? Postmates can deliver. They're the largest on-demand network in the known universe with more than 25,000 partner merchants, okay? For a limited time, Postmates is giving our listeners $100 of free delivery credit for your first seven days. To start your free deliveries, download the app right now and use code IDIOTS. That's code IDIOTS, all right? Credit for your first seven days when you download the Postmates app. Get anything you need, anytime you need it. Download Postmates and save with code Idiots. I don't know why people mad at Champagne Shet, bro. 
What's his name? <laughs> Yo. What the fuck Chet, is Chet, Tom Hanks' son name? Chet Hanks, bro. What's his name? Chet, Raz Clot. Chet, Chet Hanks. Is it Chet? My youth. Chet? Chet. Champagne Chet. Champagne Chet. Okay. Okay. Big, up, big up the whole island. Big Massive. up. That's that right. Boy, that big up. up. Coming straight from that golden gloves, you know what I'm saying? Oh, father Tom Hanks presenting in a watch. Soon forward come. Oh. Big up. Tune in. Tune in, where them scat tell. I fuck with Mash man. The boom boom. I fuck with man. Man don't stamp. Man is the son of Forrest Gump. Man's I fuck the with man. Son of Forrest Gump. I fuck with man, man. <laughs> Yo. I fuck with man. Man don't play. Man is the son of the castaway. I fuck with man. I don't know why they fuck with Champagne Check. What's his name? Champagne Chet. Champagne Chet. Whatever the fuck his name is. I don't see the problem. I don't know why we get so upset about certain Who's shit. Who's upset? It's hilarious. I thought people were saying it was cultural appropriation. You know there's white Caribbean people, right? Yo, first of all, there's shut white up. Jamaican. Shut up with your Have you cultural heard of snow? appropriation nonsense. And farmer. You know she's not a star with the Acoblan. Come the fuck and on. Give him a man. All right. Sean Paul was from the fucking Bronx and he was Puerto Rican and fucking was pretending to be Jamaican all of these Shun years. Nepal. Nobody gave a shit. Nobody. Now when Champagne Chet come out. Yo, Champagne the, Chet. Shaba Hanks comes out. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers Ooh. is mad. Come on, man. Yo, that's the new vibes cartel. <laughs> Hey man, yo, that's the new vibes <laughs> cartel, bro. Hey man, we got the youth then. We're at the Kingston. We wake up this morning okay. and we see the thing turn up. Internet gone mad. Respect, you don't know. The soul flower that I got. Booyaka, 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 JLP. I like man. Man need dread wig. That is the son of the star of Big. Man, <laughs> man, god damn it. Fuck with Chet Hanks. I don't got no problems with Chet Hanks. He got, he got heard he got a Jamaican uh, baby mom. He does. That's, that's what I, I don't know if that's true. Could be just an internet rumor. I heard he got a Jamaican baby mom. See? So if you got a Jamaican see? baby mom, you see why he talking patois. That poom poom. Make you talking come patois. Come on now. That, that's that right. fucking Jamaican poom poom. That shit squeeze that, that, yeah. squeeze that thing, man. That's why you got to dagger it. Well, let me see. Let me see. Ooh. Bring that over here. Let me see that. How you know that's her? Oh, let me see the you. That's his babysitter. <laughs> let me see. That's not his baby mom, is it? Let me see. I can't see. Hold on, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a shadow casted over her, and I, I'm not even trying to be funny. But let me see. That's wax. <laughs> Stop. What? Stop. 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 <laughs> Are we sure that's not wax? Hold on. <laughs> that's Oh, oh, my Taylor might be trying to be funny here, bro. Yo, stop playing, Taylor. Okay? Me don't like these games. I don't know if she wax. She like definitely wax. She's from Linden, New Jersey, goddammit. <laughs> she from, she's she's from, from Linden or Patterson or fucking Newark. Taylor, right. get your internet box. Yeah. Okay. Get your internet box. All right. Um, should, should adults be panicked over the possible military draft? <laughs> Say what? Should, should young adults be panicked you over know, the possibility military, military draft? draft? We got a military of like a million people, man. Come on. Iran is is a very small country. Like, yeah. come on. Like, you, you, you're comparing. Would you go fight? Of course. Really? Of course. Absolutely. 100%. Really? Absolutely. You know they're making a draft to you 40. Whatever it is. The I feel day. guilty. I'll be honest with you. I feel guilty that I didn't earlier. I feel really? like I feel like I should have done it. It's one of the, my great regrets in life. You're a real American, bro. Yeah. I believe in this. That's dope. My dad was in the army and I oh, believe- Oh, wow, I didn't know that. 100%. Okay. Yeah. He upped his own draft card. That what means that they mean? drafted him. He said, I'll come even earlier. You need me now? Wow. He now, offered, wait a minute. What was he doing? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I got to know. I need, I need yo, some context. Yo, but, um, it sounds way more heroic when you <laughs> leave something behind. Like, if you was to be like, fuck this stand-up shit, I'm going to yeah, fight. Yeah. No, but he had college education, which okay. at the time was like, I mean, my dad's old. He's 75 years old. So if you had a college education back in the day, you can get a job in a fucking heartbeat. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, but he upped his draft card and, and uh, he asked to be sent over. They didn't send him over. They had him in an intelligence base. Really? In Baltimore. And... Um, and uh, he asked, they asked to be sent over and they wouldn't send him over. And he's like, I'll go over in any capacity. I'll like take pictures. I'll do whatever it is. But he, he felt like that was the war of his generation. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to know the truth. He wanted to know what was really going on over there. And, and his, his feeling was like, regardless of if you agreed with the war or not, he saw a lot of people having like these and having like anti-soldier sentiment. Like there were a lot of like people cursing at soldiers when they would arrive because they didn't agree with like the American imperialism of the war. And his feeling was like, 
you might not agree with like the decision to be there. You might not agree with the people who are making decisions to put us there. That's fine. But you can't ever talk about someone who's willing to risk their life for your safety. You can't, man. Nah, man. And that's why even when I saw everybody making all those jokes on social media, I'm like, yo, all that shit is fun and games. But when I see some, when I see people like dressed up in the camouflage and they doing these little sketches and acting like they're going to war, like, yo, yo, I don't know if y'all realize motherfuckers really putting their life on the line, on the line. for this shit. Like, it's people that's like really terrified. Like, I'm getting deployed. Like, yeah. that shit ain't, I don't know. Yo, that, but, but on the other and hand, I don't get sensitive about too much shit, but that shit's kind of fucked up. You got to also understand though, there are people that are terrified. There are people who cannot wait. There are soldiers that's about that, action. that are about that action. Yeah, Marshawn and that's, Lynch. They are, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, put me Beast in the game. mode. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cannot wait. They've about been training action, their entire boss. fucking yeah. lives for this. Yeah. You know, and that's another thing you got to realize what you're going up against when you're going up against America. You're going up against a highly trained war machine. Like this, did you see that, that fucking general, what he said? No, what he said. Son, this general, holy shit. This guy goes, I'll put it right here. He goes, he goes, we don't want war, but if you want war with the United States of America, there's one thing I can promise you. So help me God. Someone else will raise your sons and daughters. Holy shit. <laughs> Could have left God out of that one. We know you got the nukes. God damn it. <laughs> Whoa. That's a hard line. Son, that's a bar. You might have to take that to the street. You keep this fuck shit up, fuck nigga. Somebody else gonna raise your sons and your daughters, well, I feel nigga. Bad. I'm trying to get that happen now. That shit sound as hard as Pac. When Pac said, when Pac said, my 4-4 make sure all your kids don't grow. Jesus Christ. At least they're not gonna kill the kids, though. That's a, see, we're American, we're American. <laughs> Come on, come on, right, Taylor? Come on, come on. Oh man, Taylor's eyes look crazy. You look like you took a big old dick, Taylor. That's what happens when the, yo, real talk. That's what happens when the dick too big. I want you to show no, show no. him your eyes first. Please show Taylor, your eyes. Taylor, you owe it to the listeners. Please, Taylor, you owe it to the listeners. Maybe somebody has a remedy that they can give you. They might. No. You never know. You got to take smaller D's, yo. You out here trying to take these big old fucking D's. What if her D's? fucking blood vessels popped in her eyes because we, we haven't been doing the podcast so she hasn't had no place to talk? So she's been like, <laughs> I want to say something. I need to say something somewhere. I, I need to you. say something. What if, what, if that, what if that happened? They Taylor. were listening to you on that boat that you were on? This shit make you look kind of exotic, though. It does for yeah, real, yo. <laughs> it does. Maybe fuck that green eye shit, yo. You be the black girl with red eyes. Yeah, that's just kind of hot. Stop. Let me it see. It is. Try to make, no. Can we see it? <laughs> it no, is. I know what you're doing. I'm being honest. I'm being <laughs> totally honest. Long. Like, no, maybe, like, something. like white eyeballs look kind of whack on you, yes. yo. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> I'm sick, yo, Taylor. I'm not even lying to you. Red eyeballs look kind of dope on you, Stop. yo. Yeah, bro. It does. It makes Red you look like set, a, bro. It gives you like an X Men fight type of vibe. Like mm. you might, like you might be a mutant. Phoenix, Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Oh, that's who had the red eyes. Ooh. You are the Scarlet can you, Witch. Can you? Oh, you want me to show my Christmas gift yes. that I got envy? <laughs> are these the cheeks that you were giving the gay guy? Cheeks. <laughs> I didn't give them to gay guys. I got this for Envy. I thought you gave him Envy to always Elvis Duran. Well, no, nah, I took it over to Elvis because Elvis saw it yesterday. He wanted to see it. Yeah, yeah. Envy always says, I'm his favorite asshole. Okay. So if I'm your favorite asshole, here you go. Is that an exact replica? Nah, nah. It's a reimagining of what my ass could possibly be. Uh, it's just a reimagining. Oh, it's heavy, dude. It's a, oh, it's, my God. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. Hey. Dude, flip the cheeks over. Act like you did it before. Holy shit. Schultz flipped that motherfucker over, hold boy. On, on. You ready for prison, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Schultz is ready. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got, Schultz I got is a message. Ready. I got a message for Iran. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of Iranians hiding in caves right now. All right. <laughs> you can hide. What is it? You can run, but you can't. You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah. See, I had to get the balls because I didn't want it to be gender fluid. Right. I wanted people to know exactly yeah. what it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I, want, I wanted. I didn't want it to be binary. Is that yeah. the word? Did I use the correct word? Say what? I didn't want it to be binary. binary. Gender binary? Yeah. I wanted you to know exactly what it was. Well, you just have balls. Technically, you don't have a vagina. So what's, gender, what's binary? I thought binary meant like you didn't have to be nothing. <laughs> I thought binary is you like dudes and bitches. Oh, I don't know. I don't no, that's bi. That's binary. A, is it bi short for binary? No, bi short for bisexual. 
Binary is look up binary, binary. Taylor. I think binary means like there's no gender attached to it. That's why I made sure to get the balls because oh, if there was damn, no balls, bro, you done did a good job. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> hey, Sean, hey, that's oh. a good point you got right. I think so, somebody, we need a Haitian to, to like make I this think a voodoo. Emizy did it yesterday. Emizy's Haitian. Did you feel it? You know, when people smack that shit, I be feeling that shit, bro. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> what the bro, this fuck? Is, Taylor's eyes turn red. <laughs> Taylor, that's what happened? No. Listen, I think this is a great Christmas gift, bro. Right. Dude, it's like, weird looking into your butthole, dude. Well, that's not actually my butthole. It's just a reimagining of what my butt could be. That's why when Envy asked me, he said, are those balls? I said, if you want them to be. Because <laughs> you may not want them to be balls. You may want them to be something else. What, like uh, like labia or something? I don't know, but that guy just walked to the door and he saw that shit on the front desk and that motherfucker turned around. Whoever that was just now was like, I absolutely came to the Bro, wrong room. What, okay? if you, what if you walked into the breakfast club, right? What if you walked into the breakfast club and you just saw Envy behind it pumping away? Could you come to work that day? Well, first of all, yeah. um, you saw that white flaky stuff that was on there? Yeah. It wasn't on there yesterday. Okay. <laughs> gender binary is the classification of gender into two distinct, opposite, and disconnected forms of masculine and fem feminine. I don't know. Anyway, the moral of the fucking story is yeah. that is a great Christmas gift right there. Okay. Those are fucking cheeks, bro. All right, and I don't know why. I realize how homophobic people are over the past few months. Motherfuckers are Keep very talking. homophobic. Keep talking. I'm gonna act as if it's your butthole saying all these things. Okay. <laughs> I realized how homophobic people are over the past few months. I mean, come on. You give a guy some ass cheeks with some testicles attached to him, and next thing you know, people are saying that you're gay and you're in the guy in the relationship. Why would they ever think such a thing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scream something. Ah! It drives me fucking crazy! Okay. Dude, we got puppets. <laughs> I think this is the perfect gift to uh to finally rid the world of yeah. fragile and toxic masculinity. Uh -huh. Um you know how you got the Chanel love bracelet? Yes. That's that's cute and all. But now you can get a, a mold made of your butt. Right. Give it to one of your guy homies. Yes. And then when he gives it back to you, y'all are officially butt buddies that's beautiful I love it and do you have to use it first no nah, you don't have to use it it's just a, it's just a sign of respect is your hair coming back in a little I hope not <laughs> it might be the PRP shots might have started jump affecting late okay but it's just like yo it's like a sign of respect this is the new Apollo log ah when you, walk you in gotta this rub motherfucker you I don't think you should rub it though what do you do slap it we men smack, smack that, that motherfucker woman. man <laughs> Rub me. <laughs> don't rub me. Don't, don't, don't rub me. Don't rub me. I'm a fucking man. Yeah. Smack hey. that motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> All right? That's what the fuck you do. Salute to Doc Johnson, though. That was a great year. And I told NBA I was going to get that for him. I didn't buy it to pay for that shit. Oh. I just told him I was going to get him that for a Christmas gift, and Doc sent it over. I like people that execute. Yes. He heard me say that in the interview. Yes. And then he had said, you really want that? I said, yes. And I think that's a great gift to give somebody. I can't even look at Taylor. Why? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Y'all were just complimenting me, and now y'all like, oh, no. I don't Yo, like Taylor be so no, jealous. you're so beautiful. Yo, Taylor it's saw it's that shit. Yo, Taylor saw those cheeks, and she was like, that's really your ass? I said, wow, mine fatter than yours, right? She was so You got jealous. tight, didn't She's you? She's already jealous that my hips are bigger than hers. <laughs> She's jealous that my ass been hers. Yo, Taylor's competitive, bro. Yo, Taylor, do you think you got what Charlemagne got? Yes, I, I have more. No. No, you don't. No, you don't. Do. You couldn't get a more no. like that. No. What's she talking Your about? Your more wouldn't set up like you that. You could feel that? <laughs> Like if you do like do like this, that shit is like a fucking pyramid, bro. Like, that shit is like if you do like this, you'd be like, what the fuck? You got, you got to get down, get down right. Here. I'm telling you, get down right here. Look at that shit. I'm, look at it from sea level. Oh, shit. Wow, from sea level is different, bro. That shit I'll be different, bro. Yeah, that Imagine shit goes way up. That shit, that shit goes, on your bed. You're like, what the yeah, fuck am I gonna bro. do with that shit? Yeah, you can't. That you can't. You might have to just tap out yeah, of that. Yeah, like, dog. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate to start off 2020 like this, right? But imagine you walk into a room yeah. and you see something laid out on the bed and you're like, damn, that shit fat. And you like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, bro. I didn't know that shit was back there. Yeah, the balls really. Touch the balls, Taylor. Did you touch them? I did. Okay. <laughs> did you touch the ball shorts? Yeah, I touched them. All right, it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Did you stick your finger in it? 
No, I haven't. I haven't penetrated the butthole. Nah, but... Envy violated the fuck out of the butthole. He did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What he did? That was the ill part about it. When that video went up yesterday, everybody yeah. was like, "Yo, Charlemagne's gay. Charlemagne's gay." Envy took lotion, rubbed the lotion on it. He fingered it in the ass. How deep does it go? <laughs> Find out. Well, not, not. hold on. Hold Find on. out. Hold on. <laughs> Holy shit, bro! What the Yo, Charla, fuck? You could take some meat, dog. Hold on. What the? I would be a billionaire if I could fucking really take dick like that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Yo, but now you got. My but God. now you got to do this if you really want it. Oh. Holy <laughs> shit! Jesus Christ! Why the fuck is that butthole so deep? I don't know, dog. I mean, buttholes go all the way to your stomach. I'm mounting that shit on the wall, though. I can't. I'm. I'm. I, I, nobody will put the engineer ticket in for me because you know when you're here in a corporate environment, you got to yes. put the engineer ticket in. Ah. They say you need something mounted on the wall. You got to say what it is. Yes. Maybe put a picture of it. Nobody. I'm, I, I, nobody will write the ticket up for me, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm serious. I just want to write the ticket up and say, "Yo, this is what I need mounted on the wall." I think that uh, you deserve to get it. Say again? Huh? What's the solution? Just mount it. Oh, they all gonna mount it for me. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. See, that's why I love working in a corporate environment. I saw people online saying that shit yesterday, and they was like, he should be go reported to HR and yada yada yada. I'm like, bro, you realize this is radio? Yeah. This is fucking radio. It's not what you do for a living. Yeah. All right? You know what I mean? No disrespect to you know everybody out there with a corporate job. Yeah. And we're not. We're, it's it's a, it's a tad bit different rules apply when it comes to shit like this. That's all. That's it. It's not like I mailed it to somebody anonymously. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it was like Merry fucking Christmas, you know what I mean, and a happy cheek year. It was fucking, I gave it to uh, my, my my male co-worker on the air. Yeah. And I think it was a great gift. It's content. And it's a, Elvis Duran said the best thing this morning. Yeah. That's a very thoughtful gift. Mm. You don't think that's thoughtful? Yeah, I think it's thoughtful. That's thoughtful. Because you listened. You listened to what he said. He always calls me his favorite asshole. He calls me thunder thighs and all that so shit So you like want to give him... Something to take with him when you're not around. Boom. I think that's, yeah. I, I really, that? I think it's great. I think Envy's it's sweet. dad uh, texted him and said, Charlemagne's gay, there's no two ways about it. Papa Envy, yes, there is two ways about it. It can be two ways, <laughs> all right? That's number one. Number two, if I'm gay, what is your son? For liking your asshole. Yes! Stuff. Yeah. He put lotion on it and put his finger deep in it and it smelt his finger. I respect that because that's even much for me. I just, I just, I'm not going to even like have the, a sip of my water. I like the differences that. in humor, bro. I do yeah. like the fact that. Um, I'm gay, so what? Yes, that's true. I do like <laughs> the fact that white people can play like that. And yeah, nobody it's white gives boy a fuck. fun. It's the best. It's fun. It's just fun. It's the best. It's just fun. Hey, man, why is this fun? It's the best. Hey, Y'all don't have a cultural appropriation on cheeks? None. <laughs> None. <laughs> Did you see Kevin Hart's special? No, but I heard it was really good. People were hitting me about this. His reality show? Yeah, the reality show. They What'd were you just hear saying, about it? I just heard it was good, and like he has a lot of love for his team, and they're like, yeah, people just hit me up, and they're like, they thought I would really like it. Did you like, you hated it, or what? Um, No, I actually enjoyed it. Um, I watched the whole thing on vacation. Uh, Kevin is a very interesting person, man. I think that we don't appreciate Kev because of the era that we live in because we really don't appreciate nothing. Like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of goatness going around that we don't really appreciate because... Mm. I don't know if it's because of social media and the fact that everybody feels like, you know, they're so close to people or I don't know if it's the fact that, um, you know, I was thinking about, I was talking about this over the break. I was like, yo, it's the fact that I know Kev and I've known Kev for a while. You know what I'm saying? And when you really, the, 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 the inspiration hits different when you've witnessed the grind early, when you've seen, you know, I didn't know him when he first got his sitcom and right. he did soul playing and all of that shit. Right. But, I knew him when he was in the process of building himself back up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's when I was doing radio with Wendy and Philly and all of these things like yeah. that. So the inspiration hits different when you see it from the ground up. So I wonder even with me, do I not appreciate it sometime because I, I know these people. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I wonder if it's about appreciation or, or I mean, isn't there part of you that's like, <clears throat> isn't there part of you that's kind of like, um, are the cheeks distracting you? No. Okay, okay, just making sure. No, like, that they're like, f this part of you is like fascinated that that now it's our turn. Yeah. In other words, like like this weekend I saw two comics that I started with, kind of, like my generation of comics, 
one of which was here and did this podcast, but we did, you know, girl code with her and another, just a stand up, who's a colleague, get golden globe awards. Who was the other one? I know Aquafina was one. Who was the other one? Uh, Rami, Rami Youssef for his show, Rami on Hulu. Oh, okay. And, uh, um, wow. I, I don't know him, but yeah, he, he won best, uh, I think male actor and for a TV series or something. Like yeah. That. I mean, Aquafina, man, Aquafina has been on Brilliant Idiots podcast. Exactly. So it's like, and these are people that are our generation and now they're winning these awards that's that just our generation. We've worked with them. Friends. Like we worked yeah. on Guy Code. We worked on Girl 100%. Code. I've done Aquafina. Which Aquafina used to do our show called The Talk. Yeah, I did that I with her. The yeah, Talk. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Aquafina was on Brian Nita's podcast. The podcast was called A Tribe Called Queef. Yeah. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, yeah. we know her. Like, that's homie. And, that, you know, yeah. I've always applauded her when I see her in certain movies. You know, I'll, I'll retweet a post and be yeah. like, yeah, it really, it really is dope watching the homie shine. But, that Golden Globe shit hit a little different, It's different. Bro. Like, I mean, I'm, I don't really care about award shows and that kind of stuff, but it is a symbol of, of like, our generation has reached the position where these awards are going out to us. Like, yeah, we yeah, spent our whole yeah, lives yeah, looking yeah. up at, like, Julia Roberts or Brad Pitt or George Clooney. Yeah. You know what I mean? A fucking yeah. Idris Elba. Like, all these guys that are, like, winning these awards. And then all of a sudden, we've become the generation of people to do these things. And I, and I love, you know, the hustle of uh, Aquafina because... Uh, you know, just like Kev, they all carved their own lane. lane yeah. Aquafina was on YouTube rapping. Yeah. And she had a song called My Badge. Like, she was a rapper. Like, and that parlayed into, you know, the looks on Girl Code. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I know the, I know she was on the internet. I don't know what came before Girl Code, but I know that's when I started seeing her when she was on Girl Code. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Aquafina the rapper. And then that's when we, you know, developed the rapport. But it's just like, yo, that shit just hit different even with Kev, man. When Kev fell off and Soul Plane wasn't working and fucking, you know, the sitcom on NBC had failed, he took it back to the streets and started getting on that motherfucking stage. And he was going to people in the audience saying, yo, let me get your email, let me get your email, let me get your email. So he built up this database and he kind of just built his shit from the ground up. So when I watched that special, I'm like, yo, Kev is a businessman. Like a heartbeat, in a heartbeat production. Like Kevin Hart is an enterprise in a real, real way. I only had a problem with one episode. Which one? What was it? I uh, didn't. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't well, say. Well, me and my, you know, we was watching it with my wife, and mm-hmm. I think it was the third episode when Kev allegedly got caught cheating. Uh, <laughs> um, allegedly got caught cheating. Right. I don't. I still don't think it was him in that video. Which one? Uh, uh, the video where he was like. It, it allegedly somebody that looked like him mm-hmm. was in a room. Mm-hmm. Whoever the man was clearly was drugged out of his mind. Right. Um, somebody was clearly taking advantage of him. That video. You remember that video? I don't. It, I have black. Yeah. Black, black men don't, black men don't it, cheat. Yeah, That's yeah. why I don't even know who that guy was in that video. Yeah. But the thing about I don't that. Recall. I don't the thing recall. about that episode was so wild was, you know, Kev was like, yo, if I had my boys with me, that would have happened. Mm. I think that you have to have a certain level of accountability. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I think he was trying to throw a bone to his boys, probably. like You can't put that on your boys. Yeah. that's yeah, you, you just can't. You know, um, the guy who allegedly set Kev up, one of Kev's ex-friends, totally foul. But you really can't even put that on him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, in, in certain moments, in certain situations like that, if that was Kev on that video. Who did it? Who set him up? I, I forgot the dude's name. One, 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 of, one of Kev's old buddies. I, I didn't want to say his name. They didn't say it. Fucking, that's, that's your white side. Just speaking snitching, out of turn. Bro. Snitching, bro. Giving snitching, up information dog. for no goddamn reason. Fuck, bro. <laughs> you know what Holy I'm saying? Holy shit. But they didn't giving us it. whites a bad name. <laughs> exactly. They didn't mention his name in the Netflix special at all. But, you know, I just feel like you got you to gotta hold yourself accountable. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, that could be the wife talking. You know what I'm saying? Because he did have me in the, he had me in that episode when I'm talking to Gary. Oh, Owens. you're in it? Well, I'm, I'm, it's a clip from The Breakfast Club and I'm talking to Gary. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I t-, you know, I was talking to Kev. And I was like, you know, my wife was like, if you get on that radio and defend Kevin Hart, you a fuck boy. You know what I mean? So he kept that in. And I also love this about Kev. He's not afraid to be transparent. He's yeah. not trying to be perfect. Wait, what's like, a transparent? What? <laughs> is that another one? Like, is that when you pretend you got kids, but you don't got kids? What's going on, man? How many? <laughs> What's going on, bro? You could just be a parent without having kids now. You were born a single mom, all right? But now you identify as a transparent. goddamn parent, all right? <laughs> you don't have any kids of your own. No biological kids. Come on, but now bro. You identify, now you identify as a, 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 a mother of five. <laughs> 
It's hard to get this baby weight off. <laughs> I just can't get this baby weight off. No, you just fat, bitch. I'm lactating. I'm lactating. <laughs> you ain't no parent. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bro, you gotta write that down. That, that's got that's got to be in one of his specials, bro. My God, but he, he's not afraid to be transparent, right? He's not though. He don't be trying to be perfect. He's not afraid to put his flaws out there. Yeah, he gives you the good, the bad, and the ugly yeah. of his life, and he leads. He leaves you to be able to make your own decisions. Yeah, and I gotta respect that. Yeah, it's just something about that that's so dope to me, man. And yeah. Kev, Kev could have been the guy who went the squeaky clean route. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like based off everything that he does, the Jumanjis and all that shit like that. Mm -hmm. He could have just tried to be kid friendly, and yeah, but he don't do that. I love and it, and I respect it. Yeah. So I enjoyed the stand-up special. Because it's not a life. No. Nah. It's not a life doing that. Because nah. when you're squeaky clean, it's not a stand -up, It was a documentary or whatever it was. Or Sears, whatever. Yeah. But like when you're squeaky clean, you're basically putting yourself out there to be torn down. And uh, when you say... Bill Cosby? Anybody? Of course, of course. 100%. Yeah. There's a lot of people, right? It's like the cleaner you are, the more dirty people want to make you. So, but when you're dirty, when you're in the mud, like the rest of us, what you going to do? Throw mud on me? Mm -hmm. I'm made of mud. But can He's squeaky he's done squeaky clean movies, but if you his stand up's always been pretty clean. I mean, he got in trouble with for some of his stand up, right? I mean, the whole gay yeah, thing he got in trouble for. But in other words, like exposing himself like this, and even anytime you see him like in like radio or talk shows, he's pretty like candid. I never seen him not be candid. No, nah, he's very open. I, I and, and I love the last episode. I was actually shocked by the last episode because it shows how they try to clean up old tweets and shit like that. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like like it showed the PR people trying to do damage control. Really? And Kev was like, fuck all that. I'm not doing that. Not and not not like fuck it, like yeah. fuck that community. Like I'm not going out here and being fake. Like yeah. I'm not going to do all of these. I'm not going to jump through these hoops that y'all want me to jump through. I apologize in the, in the way I felt like was sincere. Yeah. And that was that. And, yeah. he, and he stood by that. Yeah. And, and you know, you realize... That he that he realized a lot of the error in his ways, and and you you see some of the things that he's been doing in order to advance people in that community. You know, what I'm saying like the young lady on his team who is part of the LGBT community. She's one of his top executives, and you know she spoke about how a lot of the projects that they have on the table now they wouldn't have had on the table prior to this mm. situation because Kev understands the need for inclusion and and and, and diversity, and I, I respected that. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought, yeah. I thought, because I, I, I think it's too much, it's too much rhetoric nowadays. What do you mean? Meaning like, I like results over rhetoric. Or it's too much rhetoric. Results over rhetoric. It's too many motherfuckers talking. Right. Talking about what they're going to do and giving these fake apologies and shit like that. But who's actually out there putting in the work and really like doing actionable items that can benefit people, marginalized communities, oppressed communities, whoever. Mm. Like, so I respect the fact that he's actually just out there putting his best foot forward. So yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was dope. Um, and, and going back to what you said about Aquafina, it was two things. Like, that's why I love the new year. Cause the new year is when you start, it's when all the new money come in and all the deals that were about to close at the end of the fourth quarter, they close and then they get announced top of the year. Like I love it. And so it's like when Amanda Seals got announced as the new, the new host of the real, right? One the of the real, what's the, the real? The real is the daytime talk show. Um, that's on, I think it's, it's, it's syndicated. I don't know exactly what, I think it's on Fox, okay. but she got named as the fifth host. Uh, you know, they haven't had a fifth host since Tamar Braxton, so she's the new host. And the reason I thought that was so dope is because it shows that, like, literally nothing can stop the the, the, the plan or the destiny that God has for you. Like, I don't give a fuck how many times people try to cancel you on social media. Right. I don't care how many times people on social media act like they don't like you or yeah. they hate your opinion, blah, blah, blah. All you're doing is helping the creatives. All you're doing is helping the disruptors yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did they try to cancel uh, Amanda? They've tried to cancel Amanda a million times. Right, right, <laughs> like, right. And for the past few years, they've always been on Amanda's ass about right, something. Right. But all Amanda's done 
is put her nose to the motherfucking grind, go out there on the road, do her stand-up, do her smart, funny, and black shows. She was doing her her YouTube TV shows. She right. was motherfucking on Insecure. Uh, it landed her to HBO special this year. Right. She ended up on NBC's Bring the Funny. She put out her book. Now she's one of the permanent co-hosts on The Real. So right. that opinion that you've been trying to cancel, that opinion that you yeah. have not liked, now you got to hear that shit every motherfucking day on a national level, whether you like it or not. Yeah. And these are all people. The one thing all of these people I have in, have in common, everybody Everybody I've named from Aquafina to Kevin to Amanda Seals, they all carved out their own lane and the industry eventually had to come to them. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's what you gotta do. You gotta carve out your own lane. And at the end of the day, the people will decide the only thing, the only people that can really cancel you are the people in yourself. Yeah. And yourself. But you can fuck like, yourself up. If, if people don't want to watch you, if people don't want to see don't you, watch. they, they won't. And then yeah. it's over for you. Like, you know, Artie Lang, you know who Artie Lang is? Of course. So like Artie Lang has been in and out of rehab. And I mean, he's had like a really tumultuous, you know, last He's his own worst enemy. Of course. And he'll yeah, probably yeah. admit that. Yeah. But the people love Artie so much. Because of Howard. Because of Howard. How, well, I'm not going to say because of Howard. Howard, Howard gave exposed him. him. Howard yeah. gave him the platform for many, many years. And he's so fucking talented. Yeah, he's yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. So I think what he's a perfect example. It's like if he didn't have that connection with the people, nobody would take a chance on him anymore. But the fact that he has the people and they can't wait to hear him, then he can start a podcast the second he gets out of a halfway house. Does he still have that that. connection though? hundred percent. The guy can do shows. It's like, it's deep with him because because all those people that fuck with him, he takes them through his rehab. Yeah. And that Howard Stern connection is so deep because Howard built such a cult like following. And there's only, I mean, you got people in, in Howard's whack pack that you can remember. You know what I'm saying? Beetlejuice. So, Beetlejuice. Fucking uh, angry black man. You know what I mean? Like, so Howard, uh, Howard, Robin, and Artie, of course you're going to fucking know them. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Should we pay a little bills? Sure. Pay some bills? Uh, guys, turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. You know, we've gone over this. Matter of fact, it's time. It's a new year. You got a new business. You got a new idea. You got anything new that doesn't have a website. Make sure you get a website for it. It legitimizes you. We say this over and over again. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Okay? That's all it does. It's going to expedite the time. Okay? They have all these templates. They're professional. They're beautiful. You can customize them. You can make your own site, but without all that extra work and paying tens of thousands of dollars to a web designer to rip you off. Okay. All you have to do is you go to Squarespace, squarespace.com slash idiot. And guess what? You get a free trial and Squarespace has powerful e-commerce functionality, right? So they let you sell anything online. You want to sell anything? You got an Instagram business, put that shit online as well. Help you grow your site in real time. Everything's optimized for mobile right out of the box, which is very important because that's where most people are visiting websites on their phone. And you can buy the domain. That's a www thing. You buy that domain and you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Squarespace empowers millions of people, from designers to lawyers, artists to gamers, even restaurants and gyms, to turn great ideas into something real. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot, offer code idiot. And we are back to the show. I had something I wanted to talk about, and I forgot just that fucking fast. You what? said what? No, it was what, what was the deal? Do you care about that? <laughs> really. I don't care about don't it at care. all. Like, so, uh, they're so both f- they're both fifty years old. What are we arguing on Instagram? Uh, yeah, about, right? yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, yo, we're, we're to French. Instagram beefing. Like French is my guy. I meant to Google how old French was because I hate when like. Guys that are close to 40 keep using their young card. Close to 40? He's got to be close to 50. Nah, not French. Come on. Nah. Huh? He's not younger than me. French is 35? He's younger okay. than me? So French is 35. He keeps calling 50 a dinosaur. How old is 50? Like, he's 44? French is younger than you, me? Yeah, if, you in a, if you're in the same decade window as somebody... <laughs> You can't call him a dinosaur, French is bro. 35? I don't know. I don't know. I don't There's know. There's no... Where are you looking this up, Eden? Google lies. <laughs> Look up my net worth. <laughs> How much this Andrew worth? Oh, they had me early. Like, guy code days, they had me at like 7 million. I was like, what? Balling! I was like, MTV, we need to talk. <laughs> where is this money going? <laughs> yeah. That's what they said? An estimated three? Go ahead, show T. That's estimated. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're estimating. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't care. Cause you know why I didn't care? I just don't be caring about. I don't be caring about rich people problems, yo. 
like you're arguing over a Bugatti, like whether it's used or leased or how no, much the streaming it costs. thing. That was it. He was caught faking streams. Was I don't, that, like that, that, that. That's a little closer to the ground for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I hear a lot of artists complain about that, not just from French, but just in general. They like, say that about Cole, right? They say like Cole's Cole's uh, army of fans will just leave the the album playing throughout the night or something like that to well, get I, extra streams. I was shocked to see that uh, they had the top screaming artists of the past decade and Cole was last on the list. I mean, out of everybody that was the highest screamed people, like Cole was like, he screamed like 21 million records. I thought that was, I was like, really? I thought Cole you know would have been is? way more than that. I think that he has diehard fans, but he don't have all the fans. Like, I don't think some casual is going to go, let's listen to some Cole. But if you do listen to Cole... That is your motherfucking life source. Yeah, he, he definitely has a cold like following. I mean, you know, Drake had the most, of course, but... Because everybody listens to Drake. My mom look, listens to Drake. But look at all the different genres of music Drake delves into. Right. Drake would do R&B, he'd do rap, he'd do fucking the Chet Hank shit, he'd do goddamn Afro beats. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> mine, 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 mine. Pon them teams <laughs> on, push play. <laughs> It's too Irish? Too okay. Irish. <laughs> okay. Me no want, me no want no champagne, poppy. Eh, you sound like Champagne McGregor. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right, how do I get, how do I get more, I, how do I get more Jamaican with it? I don't know. See, I always resort to the Geechee accent, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like from Charleston, you know, I'm uh, born in Charleston, so it's kind of like, no, nah, I ain't no gully and patois different. Ain't the same. Yeah, that's way different. Yeah, it ain't the same. It's not yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Not the same. No, no, Jamaican. Jamaican. Do you sound Irish? Jamaican. You sound like Golden Crust, bro. Like, like you, sound like, like you sound like a Golden Yo, Crust commercial, with Golden bro. Crust, I man. don't like Golden Crust. You don't like a beef patty Hell from Hell no. I think it's the most disrespectful shit in the world. You be don't driving... you fix your mouth to talk about me no. beef party. You, you be in don't t- you fix your mouth to talk about I me beef it. party. Yo, shout out to everybody. The oxtail and stewed peas. Everybody in Some T-neck. rice. Everybody in T-neck in Jersey. And a weird snapple. It's this script in T-neck where you got like. <laughs> it's not a real snapple, but it kind of tastes like snapple. But, tropical fantasy, we call it. Listen, you got the. In, in t- you ever been to T-neck, New Jersey? You've been to T-neck, New Jersey, right? I've been to T-neck. I've been to T-ball. Remember where I used to live? Yes. Around all the Jewish people? No. Down the <laughs> around Me don't know no Jews. A couple <laughs> Me don't know no Jews. But they're kinda similar to the to the Rastafari. <laughs> but up the street up the street there's The Jews the street. not shave the side of their heads. What? <laughs> they got the twisty things kinda like the dreadlock. Yeah, I know that he's Jamaican. They got the twisty Who's things Jamaican? like the dreadlock. Oh, you Jamaican doing? Of course he's Jamaican. I would have never guessed. Look, he's late every single day. He's got to be Jamaican. He got 15 jobs. He's got to be Jamaican. His name is Duane. Duane. Why is he angry? That's how he said, because Jamaicans are angry people, rascal. No, they're not. They're actually some happy people. No, why you think we smoke so much marijuana? They're too happy. We need that. Yo, you going in and out of like four leaf clover, bro. <laughs> like you're going back and forth between motherfucking curry and four leaf clover. My name is Donovan McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> Put some jerk sauce on that potato. Put it on it. <laughs> Me want a Guinness and a red stripe mixed together. <laughs> Me no playing with y'all. Me no playing. Put a dumpling Yo, on my Yo, Jamaican plate. stout might be fire. Jamaica. Though. Jamaican stout? More fire. More fire. <laughs> Fire. Guinness and Red Stripe mix might be kind of fire, bro. Stop. More fire. <laughs> More barley. <laughs> but no, there's this strip in T-Neck, New Jersey. It's a great Jamaican restaurant called Island Spice. Another great Jamaican restaurant called Reggae Kitchen. Another Jamaican restaurant. And then it's like a Golden Crust. And Golden Crust be packed. Packed. I'm like, that shit's whack, bro. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Me not want to hear it, Charlamagne. Yo. Me not want to hear it, Charlamagne. A Jamaican Charlemagne. Irish would be funny. Yo, so. Bob O'Marley. <laughs> Bob O'Marley would be funny as fuck. <laughs> like, Bob O'Marley. <laughs> we might have to have a recurring Bob O'Marley character, bro. <laughs> I shot the leprechaun. <laughs> 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 but men don't touch other men's booty. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> they're homophobic in Jamaica. Oh, got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Ta-da! <laughs> Ross Clutch, <Clancy>, Bossy <Rosca>. Boy. <laughs> Bossy Boy. <laughs> Boom, bye-bye. <laughs> Boom, 
Everybody, <laughs> bye. Listen, yes. what the fuck were we talking? Oh, did you see the Drake? <laughs> did you see we the Drake? short-term memory is not good. It's not. We was talking about Drake. Did you see the Drake interview on Rap Radar? <sighs> I saw the thing. You ain't watched that. There's no way Andrew Schultz watched that whole two hours. We saw the thing with Elliot and B. Dot. Really? Me like a B. Dot. I thoroughly enjoyed like that interview. like Elliot. I thoroughly Elliot enjoyed that interview. Elliot getting paler and paler. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot look like the toast before you put it in a toaster. <laughs> no, he look like the toast when you toast that shit perfectly, oh. but you let that butter get in the center and melt, and it's that yellow circle right in the middle of the bread. That's what YN looks like. Me getting like. orny. <laughs> you know, Jamaica, don't, be, don't be saying ancients, bro. Me getting orny right now. Listen, I'm making no H, bro. You cut that H out. Uh, me getting what is it? Me getting Arnie. Arnie. Me Arnie. Me Put the Arnie butter now. on the toast, Charla. Me Put Arnie. the butter on the toast. Keep describing it. <laughs> <laughs> Charla, keep describing the butter on the toast. Is it milk? Is it Milton? Cause, Cause you gotta be ready to heal toe at any point in time. Anytime. Any time, boy. Heal toe. You gotta be ready to heal toe. You, you, got to to heel toe. <laughs> you got to be secure to cut that. Cause the sand is hot. The sand is hot. The sand is. Hey, hey, the sand is hot. <laughs> Bob O'Marley. Listen. The Ross Clark. I enjoyed the interview though, man. I wanna. I do wanna. Me no wanna look at your butthole and pebbles. I do wanna. You what? <laughs> you know what to look at your butthole and pebbles. Butthole and what? Pebbles. What do you mean in pebbles? The pebbles for the bonds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, shout out to B. Dot and Elliot, man. Um, okay, what's your think about the interview? I thought it was great journalism. Um, I think that's where <laughs> Elliot and B. Dot shine. Mm. Elliot is an OG who's been in the game. Uh, like four decades, and his 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 background as a journalist for magazines. I think it really plays well when he's sitting down doing interviews. You know what I'm saying? He used oh. to be editor in chief of Double XL. He used to be. A, I, I don't know what exactly his role was at the Source magazine, but I just think he's really good at hip hop journalism. You know what I'm saying? And I yes. think B Dot. When you add B Dot into the mix, you know B Dot is good at interviewing. He's good at having a conversation, but he's also good at just asking the questions that I'd be wanting answers to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing like salacious. You know what I'm saying? Right. It ain't gonna be nothing like correct. Aggressive, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, from, yeah. As, as far as the artists, like the artists can really just sit down there and kick it. And I think that in this era of, which I'm sure that I've had a, a lot to do with, in this era of where where you think that you an artist got to wild out or spaz out or say something crazy, I think that we forget that sometimes this good old fashioned hip hop journalism is dope. And I think for an artist like Drake, that was the perfect place. To go sit down, you know, and I, I thought I thought they did a great interview. I only had I like, like those guys. I, I did watch some. I did watch some clips on it. I, I uh, watch. I watch. I rap, didn't watch the whole thing. I watch Mad Rap Radar interviews. I, yeah, I, I, I like my, my. But they're four, great. Four of my favorite interviews of the past two years have been Rap Radar. The Jay-Z. I like them here. We gotta have them back on. Oh, when, we, when we had that yeah, conversation, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were excellent. I yeah. really like them. The Jay Z interview, yeah. the Will Smith interview, the interview with D Rock. And um, the Nipsey Hussle interview are four of my favorite interviews of the past years. If I had to rank a top ten in the past two years, mm. probably three, maybe four, those four would definitely be in my top ten. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that, that makes up a healthy bulk of the top ten. So I really fuck with Elliot and I fuck with B Dot. Um, mm. I thought they did a great job. I only had like one follow up question. Only thing I would want to know Which is, is why, why did, uh, why does Drake feel like him and Nicki will never be cool again? Cause he said something to that effect, like we probably we probably would never be cool. I would like to know why. Why go on with Nikki? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I said. I would like to know why he why feels like Nikki? that relationship, like they would never be cool again. Also, you know, I mean, I, I think they did a good job of having the push a T conversation, but Canadians, you can't make up your own rules when it comes to rap beef, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 cause, 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 what you know, he was kind of saying that pushing went a little too far, Ooh. and B dot, uh, B dot said to him like, "Well, you brought up." I might, might have been Elliot. One of them was like, you bought up Push's fiance. If you bought up Push's fiance, then all bets off. And Drake was like, yeah, I get it. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I, I, I didn't like the fact that he's acting now as if Pusha isn't worth engaging. Like, Drake's the bigger artist. And but he isn't. He's not. But my point is, you can't now act like you're the bigger artist. Oh, he wasn't worth engaging back then either. But you did. Exactly. You fucked up. But now that... But what I liked about it is he said, right, look, I'll take the L. 
He had no choice. That's just him being honest, which I'm glad he's being honest about you. You lost. No, but, that wasn't out. That's all I care about. Yeah, that like, wasn't if, if you're saying I took the L, yeah. And now he tried to like carve out his own thing when he was like, uh, he was like, listen, I didn't get out barred. I didn't get out whatever. Yes, you did, Drake. You did. Did he get out barred? Story of Adonis, you got out barred. Absolutely, you got out barred. Okay. And, 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 the, and the, uh, the Duffy freestyle was dope, but yeah. majority of those were shots at Kanye. You didn't really have anything for Pusher. How do you pronounce it? Kanye. Duppy? Duppy. 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 Man. The man. Yeah. The so, man put the Duppy on the left hand side. Yeah. So I. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the duppy on the left hand side. Pass the duppy on the left hand side. Oi. Hey. Um, <laughs> oi. Oi. <laughs> oi. Is that a sound? Give us a sound, Twain. Give us a good Jamaican sound. Give us a good Jamaican ad lib. Give us a good Jamaican. Give us a good Jamaican sound. Where's the dollar van? <laughs> <laughs> what? Medea. Medea. What's that mean? Oh, okay. Medea. But that out that. Where's the coochie? Me want to dagger it. Lord have mercy. <laughs> That's the name of the dance, right? What? Oh! You want to dagger? <laughs> dagger, 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 dagger. <laughs> Show some progressiveness in the Jamaican community. Me no believe in progression. <laughs> Charlamagne, what's this nonsense you're talking? <laughs> yeah. Me you know, no believe in it. Well, listen, sh sh salute to Elliot and beat that. I thought it was a great interview. <laughs> Fuck what Joe Budden talking about. What, they, Joe was hating? Oh, Joe was hating so Because he didn't get it? I had to tell Joe yesterday. I'm like, Joe, you sound so bitter. <laughs> Mm. I said the level of bitterness and hate mm. in your voice towards this interview is actually absolutely incredible. Mm. And I just think that, you know, we all got to stop needless criticism of our people because we got to remember that jealousy destroys from within. Ooh. Let's just give it up. Just say it was like, you don't say things like, it was the best, worst interview. It was a good, it was a great interview. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Spe yeah. Speaking from the perspective of somebody who's only been doing it for 21 years. What was the and critique? interviewed a lot of people. It was a, it was literally about nothing. He was just angry and upset and that's fine. Right. You, Joe, Why would he get the Drake interview though? I, I don't know. I know him. when we did our. I know when we did our year end pull up. He absolutely said he wanted it. <laughs> he absolutely said during the pull up, he was like, "Yo, Drake, we need to do an interview." You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Oh. I, I don't. I, I don't know. I just think you know. I just think it's levels to this interviewing thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I, yeah, Joe Joe Budden is not on uh, B dot in Elliot's level of interviewing. Mm. He's, he's 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 entertaining when when he's having a conversation. It's a different skill. It's a different skill. There's a different skill being a shooter. And being absolutely a support, like absolutely. being a point guard, and absolutely. they're very different things, mm -hmm. you know. And um, some absolutely. people can do both, but like Howard is a. Actually, I guess I, I I always remember Howard as an interviewer, but I think there was a time where he was a shooter too. Howard can get on your ass. No, 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 no. He he can get on your ass, yeah, but yeah, I meant yeah. like um, like you're a type of guy you can go. Yeah. For example, if they say we don't have a guest today. But can you just fill 20 minutes of talking? Oh, of course. Light work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. there are some people that need someone to play off of, and they're geniuses with it. Like Larry King. I don't know if Larry King ever just talks by himself, but if you give him true, someone else, he's going to get true, everything true, out of him. True, true, So there are different types true. of skills. Yeah, Joe, Joe can definitely go. Go. Yeah, yeah. Well, Very yeah, entertaining, fun, go. gets passionate Absolutely. about stuff. Really, you know? May Funny, not know what witty. the fuck he's talking about. But it's passionate. Ninety percent of the time. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah People yeah. like passion. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's entertaining to watch. But when it comes to interviewing, it's a different skill set that B Dot and Elliot do very, very, very yeah, well. Yeah, B Dot and Elliot are like skilled journalists. Absolutely. You know? Joe's like a Jamaican accent. <laughs> he's Chet, he's Chet <laughs> Hanks' his pop star. It's highly entertaining, but may not be authentic. May not. <laughs> what do you mean may not be authentic? I'm from the island. I'm from Tivoli Garden. I'm from Tivoli Garden. That's my, what, what are they called, Dwayne? That's my Providence. No, it's not Providence. That's my... It's like your little town. No, it's like a, the name of these like little towns. In Irish? No, 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 no. What? <laughs> what? No, in, in Jamaica, Ireland? It, it's smaller than a city. It's like these... these Village? Parish. Parish. Oh, Parish. That's it, Parish. Oh. Uh, Tivoli Garden. That's where my people are from, Tivoli Garden. Okay. In Jamaica? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Andrew. Son, <laughs> this guy is so crazy. I grew up in Jamaica, bro. <laughs> 
This guy is I so spent crazy. my weekends in Jamaica. <laughs> right there off Eastern Park. You never been to Jamaica? I spent my weekends in Jamaica with my kids. You're a transparent now? I am a trans Jamaican man. <laughs> Look in the mirror, repeat after me. I see pride. <laughs> I see power. I'm a I, badass I identify mother. as a rasta. I don't take no shit from nobody. <laughs> this guy is so <laughs> stupid, <laughs> man. Cool runnings. <laughs> it's cool runnings, Charlemagne. <laughs> hey. As always. Hey. We got anything else? This hey. guy is so fucking yes, crazy. Yes, I do have something else. Talk to me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay. You just seen it. <laughs> You just Bob seen it. Look Bob up. Marley has a white brother? Bob Marley's half white, He's son. Half white. Shut he the is. fuck up, he Angelo. Is. He's white. He's from he England. Is. Yes, he is. Why y'all hate on us? Why are you shaking your head like that, Why y'all hate on us? Because clearly, well, yeah. no, clearly. Shut your white ass yes, up, Angelo. Exactly. Dwayne said, <laughs> if you want to hear a white man do a good Jamaican accident, and he said, Bob has a white brother, and you jumped out there like, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, he's still identified as a white man, Angelo. You're white. I don't care how big your fucking diamond earrings are in both ears. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. I want to see this before we go. Let me see Bob Marley's white brother. I did not know this. What's his name? Bill. No, <laughs> it's not Bill. Not Bill. <laughs> Brad. A Jamaican name Bill. You crazy? No. What's his name? Trevor. Let me see. Let me see it. Pass me the phone. I'm about to put it on the No, nah, don't back talk me, woman. <laughs> 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 me not like when you back talk. <laughs> <laughs> me not like it. Let me see. It says cousins. Hold on one second. Wait a second. Let me let me zoom it faster. It says it's the cousins of Bob Marley and indig indi 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 in what's the word? <laughs> Indigenous. <laughs> I, I thought Indi I saw a putty cat. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, that again, that again. Here's my brother Leonardo saying. Indigenous. Engine, engine, engine. It looked like. Engine, engine, number nine. On the New York transit line. If my train goes off the tracks, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. She's going to get the boy and then stomp it. And then stomp it. And then stomp it. Stump it, stump it, stump it. Bro, it looked like, yo, when he was trying to say ingenuity, whatever the fuck, it, it was oh, like God man. was DJing with you, bro. He said, inch it, inch it, inch it, inch it. Yo, what if God was in heaven playing around he for real, be. yo? Like, he might like, be. Like, 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 what if he was up there like, ick, ick, ick. what if he was doing that for real? That's what he does with That's you. That's crazy. Every once in a while. <laughs> Remember when you tried to say the other shit? What was he trying to say? Six, uh -huh. Sucker and sacrifice. Oh, oh <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, uh, listen. Let me let me tell you one time. Yes, talk to listen. me. Listen, <laughs> if you think man's is a stupid, dumbass, idiot, you might be right. <laughs> 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 but if you think we say some smart things here, you think we say some genius things here, you think we, you think we, you think we brilliant, <laughs> you might be right too. <laughs> Did I do it? Yes, now you got to hit the thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>